What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the high grade G40 Gundam. Now, disclaimer, this thing does not belong to me. My friend lent it to me alongside giving me the Extreme Gundam Eclipse Phase as an early birthday present. So, courtesy to him, I have this kit on hand temporarily to build and review. Now, why did he let me build it? He wanted me to understand the mechanics of the G40 Gundam and understand why it has so much articulation. Because this thing, notorious for its overwhelming amount of articulation. So he wanted me to build it, understand the mechanics, and then give it a review. Because I did plan on giving this thing a review back when it first came out, but I did miss out on the first release of the G40 Gundam. So yeah, and plus I'm never really too big of a fan of the of the design because uh, it it isn't really too faithful to the original Gundam to be honest with you guys. So I never really bothered with it, but he did. So yeah, it's kind of a win win, but I'm not really too sure. Well, he give he he lent it to me out of his own volition, so I really can't say much. I'm really thankful for him for lending me this model and letting me build it and do a review of it. So, let, without further ado, let's get into the inner contents. First of all, here we have the A plate right here. So, yeah, the A plate, please focus. The A plate, yeah, does have all of the multicolors. I am not really too big of a fan of the blue over here because it is a little bit too light. I feel like the f more faithful to the, the original one is this blue right here, the deeper blue. But a sky blue, I don't know, it doesn't really work on the original Gundam, especially the original design. And even a redesign. But I'm not really too sure. This thing is controversial because I like some aspects of it and I don't like some aspects of it. The ones that I like are the flipping beam sabers and the core fighter. You don't need to like slice it open in order to have the core fighter be put in there, which is pretty nice. And of course the beam sabers, yeah, something to play around with, but... Yeah, the overall design, not really too big of a fan of it. And then the B1 plate over here, the greenish white, which does have some of the joints, and of course the skirts and the shield. Now the one thing that I'm really glad of with the shield is that the minute white star does not need to be made by stickers. It is actually molded in there, which is pretty good. And then this B2 plate over here, all the hands, so a set of open ones, a set of holding ones, and one trigger ringer hand. All of which have knuckle joints that came from the C plates right here. Now, both of these plates are identical, so I'm going to show one only. So here are the knuckle joints, more joints, and more armor. And then we do have a set of SB13 beams, so yeah, you can use these two however you want. And then, you have the sticker sheet. Now the first instance that I saw this is where I just scoffed because the freaking entry grade has a molded in V but all of the other high grades do not now I do not know whether or not the real grade RX-78-2 has the V molded in but as far as I know the the new Gundam RG has the V as a separate piece so yeah the entry grade is just one-upping all of the high grades Gundams that actually have the V. Really just, I don't know, out of this world, unfathomable. Because something cheaper, made on a cheaper budget, somehow has more color separation than something made on a higher budget. Why? Why? But then again, it, <laughs> I don't know. But here we have a pink strip that goes along the top of the head, which contains the mono eye in the actual animated short. And then we do have two sets of eyes. First of all, we have the pink ones, which I thought were the yellow ones covered up with the red lens, but apparently not. So the pink ones are more faithful to the original anime when the Gundam has its eyes glow, because they actually glow pink instead of glowing yellow. But yeah, they do glow yellow now, as indicated by the speed grade in Build Divers Re-Rise. But of course, if you want the traditional yellow eyes, you do have those. And then we do have the instruction manual that I struggled to pull out of the box which does have the G40 Gundam in silhouette which does look pretty cool like I'm not really too big of a fan of the actual product itself but in the animated form and in silhouette this thing does look pretty cool for some stupid reason I don't know why but there's nothing in the back no descriptions whatsoever so we open this up 
apparently we open up with a color page, which is a change. So first of all, we have the uh, warnings, but not to do, parts count for Japan G order sheet and the QR code right there. And of course, we do have the colored keys, and we start off with the head, apparently, and then the torso. And then moving on, um, it's a little bit tough. We do have the backpack. So apparently we built the entire central mass first. So apparently we built the head and then the chest and then the backpack first, which is, I admit, a little bit of a change. And then we do have the arms looking pretty good. And then we move inwards, I think. Yep, we move inwards like so. And then the left arm and then the feet and then the right leg, left leg. And then we have the weapons under here. And of course the waist before it and the shield and of course this thing has no action base hole as far as i can tell so you need to use the old adapters in order to prop this thing up which yeah first of all is good because it has more stability than a custom stand adapter but i don't know modern stand adapters work very very well but judging from the from my experiences with the real great destiny gundam that stand adapter caused my destiny gundam to break because it just kept on, kept on falling off. So ultimately I resorted to using the old ones. By just slotting it into the waist. And getting it over with. And it stayed up on the shelf for like uh, how many years was it? Like six to like five to six years. So these are better. However why does this thing not have its own hole? Nobody knows. So that's going to wrap it up for the G40 Gundam. Oh, I just forgot about something. One moment. You do get this art book over here. Now this thing is one heavy book, which describes the entire design process of the G40 Gundam. So all of the features, all of the, uh, I don't know, basically how they came up with the design of the G40 Gundam. So you can learn about the history of this design with this book, which is pretty nice. So now this actually is going to wrap up the unboxing of the G40 Gundam. What do I think? Well, I hope that after building this kit that I would change my mind about the design. But yeah, I'm qu qu kind of looking forward to building this kit because yeah, I only have a limited amount of time, obviously. But yeah, I'm looking forward to experiencing the Gundam in a slightly different way because of the new mechanics that are kind of put into this kit. And of course the ludicrous amounts of articulation, Let's, let me get that straight. But yeah, unfortunately this thing is going to be gone from my hands in, in about two weeks. So yeah, I am going to get this thing done. Of course I'm going to be streaming it. I'm going to be streaming it tonight, which is going to be GMT plus 8, uh, 9.40 p.m. on the 8th of August. So... If you missed it, I'm going to leave the stream up for two weeks so that you can catch up on it. And then I'm going to be unlistening it. So yeah, if you cannot come to the stream, definitely check out the review. And yeah, I will see you guys in either place. Peace.